The Project Implementation Unit within the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs is working assiduously to ensure the successful implementation of the performance-based financing PBF pilot program at primary healthcare facilities following a recent training on the development of a quality of care program as it relates to diabetes and hypertension. Performance-based financing PBF which will be piloted in 17 primary healthcare facilities, is expected to improve the management of non-communicable diseases at these facilities. Consultant for Health Quality at the World Bank, Dr. Ben Chan, spoke on performance-based financing being an effective approach to ensure more screening and treatment of patients for diabetes and hypertension at various primary healthcare facilities. So essentially, we all want uh, more patients to be screened for these conditions, and if they are screened, to be treated and managed properly. So that means that we want them to make sure they come back on a regular basis uh, to make sure that they have blood tests or that they're monitored uh, uh, on a regular basis. So that if we find problems, then we can address them uh, quickly without the problem uh, continuing uh, for, uh, for an extended period of time. Dr. Chan also spoke on the training assisting with setting a path for better outcomes as it relates to individuals accessing screening and treatment for diabetes and hypertension. What we are doing in the training program is to help the staff at each primary care facility figure out exactly what are some of the reasons why patients might not uh, come in for screening or might not come back for follow-up or follow through with their treatments. We're having great discussions on issues such as common issues that we find in all healthcare systems. Sometimes patients simply forget. Sometimes they find it inconvenient. Sometimes they have difficulty accepting that they have the disease and may uh, uh, may not uh, um, maybe not fully accept their diagnosis and be reluctant to uh, come in for a follow-up, or they have other uh, inconveniences like uh, difficulty finding transportation. Principal Nursing Officer Julieta Frederick Cassius says she's very pleased with this training as it provides them with the opportunity to assess what currently exists, identifying the gaps, and improving the delivery of services to clients at the primary healthcare facilities with regards to diabetes and hypertension. Today is just one of those days that we continue to review our processes, to review our various steps, especially as it regards to screening. Um, diabetes and hypertension is, are two key areas to current um, illnesses that we will be focusing on under the PBF. And so what we are doing today is actually going through the various processes and steps for screening of diabetes and hypertension because we will be doing a lot of those activities within the PBF. The primary health nursing supervisors and frontline nurses who participated in the design and development of the quality of care program are expected to share the information acquired from the training to other members of the primary health care team. Reporting from the Project Implementation Unit within the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, I am Fennel Neptune.